The former Soviet Kiev-class aircraft carrier Minsk is rusting away, seemingly abandoned, in the middle of a man-made lagoon some 50 miles northwest of the Chinese city of Shanghai. The carrier was retired and decommissioned on June 30, 1993, as a result of a major accident, details not known, which required the facilities at the Chernomorsky Yard. The Soviet-era Minsk aircraft carrier is hardly deserving of the designation. Unlike the hefty, flat-decked warships that function as floating airbases, this ship, built as part of the former USSR's Kiev class, conventionally powered and with a displacement of about 42,000 tons, less than half that of a U.S. Navy Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the 273-meter ship could carry a dozen fighter jets. The Minsk was retired after an accident, which left the ship unrepairable outside of its original port of construction in Ukraine. Companies tried and failed to start another theme park around the Minsk, leading to its current status as a largely abandoned hunk of metal. The Kiev-class design is something of an oddity among modern aircraft carriers. To begin with, having a bow and island that both look more reminiscent of what you might expect to see on a battlecruiser. Of the four Kiev-class carriers the Soviets built, only the final one, the Baku, remains in service. It was sold to India in 2004, refurbished and commissioned into the Indian Navy in 2013 as the INS Vikramaditya. Despite the carrier's armament-lugging capabilities, its overall effectiveness was sorely limited. Today, the Kiev-class warship is rotting away in a China-based theme park that is now closed. The ski jump takeoff is less demanding on the pilot's body, since the acceleration is lower, but results in a clearance speed of only 120 to 140 kilometers per hour.